Hi everyone, welcome back to Trees and Turtles. My name is Imogen and in today's video I'm going to be sharing how I stay productive in the Christmas holidays. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to do that, give this video a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and let's get started. If you are aware of the passage of time, you will know that the Christmas holidays are rapidly approaching if they have not already approached. Um, for those of you at a university with similar terms to mine, um, holidays start in like mid-December, um, maybe if you're still at school, or I honestly have no idea about my target audience, but um, it is likely you will have holidays in December. And this obviously brings a lot of like events and, you know, stuff to do, distractions as it were, and it's a temptation to sort of like put off work until January, if that makes sense, you know, like sort of let's circle back on this in the new year or um, I'll deal with that next term, that kind of thing. Um, but I find that this can kind of instill a sense of dread because you know January is on its way and you know that if you don't do a little bit of work at least over the Christmas holidays you are going to be in the shit when you get back. Um, and so this is how I stay productive in the Christmas holidays. The first one is to set some goals. I always say this at the start of every video. In fact, you know what? I could just make one video and post it and be done with it. But I keep making videos because I enjoy making videos and this channel needs to stay alive. Um, but set clear goals. What do you actually want to accomplish? Unless you write it down. Um, I heard a statistic somewhere. Um, I'm going to see if I can find a source for this. And if I don't find a source for this, then feel free to ignore it, that says um, if you write a goal down you're 40% more likely to achieve it. Anyway, write down your goals because that is a good thing to do. Um, so it could be anything, it could be like work, it could be study, personal projects, self-improvement, anything. You want to get it done the Christmas holidays, you write it down. Okay? Next, create a schedule. Um, so work out how many days you have, work out how many tasks you want to get done, work out how many tasks you want to get done per day or have to get done per day. Um, allocate time for like work and also relaxation of the holiday activities. The whole point, it's literally a holiday. So I recommend you plan some unscheduled days and by plan some unscheduled days, I recognize that that's a very sort of productivity oriented thing to say, but just that all I mean is just take some days when you say, no, I'm not gonna do anything important. Like I'm just gonna have time off. Like, or if you're uncomfortable sitting still for a long period of time because you have anxiety, like I do, you might be like, well, I'm not going to do any work, but I am going to go to a Christmas market and get some gifts. Or, you know, I'm going to go get some hot chocolate with one of my friends. So plan things that you like to do that aren't necessarily work because you've got to relax, my friend, or you are going to burn out. And take it from me as someone who has burned out more times than they can count, you need a break a little bit. Just a little bit. I promise you will not die if you take a break. All right, prioritize. So because it's a holiday and because, you know, you actually need to chill because if you don't chill, then you will genuinely burn out like I explained in my last point, um, you need to prioritize. So pick the top five most important things or like pick the things that you know are gonna be like a problem when you get back. So for me last Christmas, I had, oh, I had like this assignment due that was due four days after I got back and Furthermore, I had some stuff that I could only do at uni because of I needed the like university computers to run some software. Um, so I knew that I needed to get the tasks that I could do on holiday done before, and obviously I did some in the previous term as well. Um, so like when I got back, I could like get on it and absolutely like crush those four days um, and get my assignment handed in. And I did indeed, and I did really well on that assignment. So it does work. Um, Take your breaks, get your hot chocolate, watch a Christmas movie. I love Krampus. Krampus is a great Christmas movie if you're looking for a little scare, but nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, you gotta like hang out with your friends or family. Um, I mean, obviously, I don't know what your situation is or where you're spending Christmas, but hopefully you will find someone that you wanna spend Christmas with and hang out with them. Also, it's really important to set some boundaries. And I maybe should talk more on this channel about boundaries, but there is a lot of there are a lot of competing pressures on us at Christmas. Like there are probably like thirteen different family gatherings you want to go to, and your friends are doing Secret Santa, and um, somebody else has invited you to go clubbing or something. Um, the point is, um, there'll be a lot of competing demands on your time, and it's important to nevertheless take time for yourself. 
So if you set boundaries, this means sort of commu clearly communicating um, to your friends and family when you will and will not be available and sticking to it. And, you know, people might come at you with the, oh, but can't you like just join for an hour or something? And yes, you can, but also question whether that's best for your well-being. So be selective about what you go to, pick and choose. Um, don't feel like you have to go to everything. I promise you, you do not. And if someone makes you feel shitty for not going to something because you need a break, then maybe rethink that relationship because people who actually love you will be prioritizing your well-being. All right, my next tip is to combine work and fun. So like I said, you can go to a Christmas market, you get you get to have like a fun seasonal experience and you also get to buy gifts. So that is a great example of combining work and fun. So if you can combine like stuff you need to get done with fun holiday activities, um, absolutely do it. Like for example, I'm trying to think of an example. Oh yeah, a great one was that I was like doing the coding for my um, assignment while I was listening to a Christmas playlist. And that honestly, it just made me feel a lot happier because I was like, oh yay, Christmas endorphins. And also I'm getting my assignment done. Um, so that is a great tip to use if you can. Uh, stay healthy. So I know a lot of us, like, we have a tendency to, you know, like, I don't want to say eat super unhealthily because there is no, like, I don't want to say there's such a thing as a bad food or a good food, but I think a lot of the time, especially with, like, something I particularly struggle with over the winter is hydration because who wants to drink cold water when it's literally cold outside but please 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 drink water or like drink something and you cannot survive off hot chocolate I promise um so please just make an effort to like maintain like something of a healthy routine because your body will genuinely thank you all right, uh, reflect and plan. So obviously Christmas is right near the end of the year and it's near the new year and it is the perfect time to review your goals. Obviously you can review at any time of year and you should be reviewing multiple times a year, um, but it is a really good time to sort of reflect, look back over the year, did I achieve these goals? What went well? What, went di what didn't go well? What went not well? Um, and just sort of see what you could do to like improve your efficiency in the new year and so forth. Also, my final tip, please be realistic because if you say that you're like gonna read a million books and cure cancer over the Christmas break, I promise you are not going to. I mean, if you do, congratulations. I am sure the world's top scientists would love to hear about it. Um, but please don't be too hard on yourself and please be realistic, please give yourself a break because that is what the Christmas holidays are, a break. And yes, you need to work, but also, you need to chill because the whole point is to come back to the new term or the new year refreshed and if you come back burnt out I promise you are not going to be as productive as you wanted to be. That is all for this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe follow me on Instagram and that's all for today okay bye